Today we come from the townlands and the inner cities. We come from all around the six counties, but we come for one uniting reason, because of our love for Ulster. We come here today as a people with many differing views and opinions, but let us leave Woodfield Park more respectful of each other's viewpoint and contribution to the cause. Let us leave here today a united people, determined and confident to play a positive role in shaping the future of Northern Ireland. We had no choice but to rally here today because we are fed up with the lip service being paid to unionists and the silver service treatment of Republicans. We hope the Northern Ireland office and the American administration, the Republic of Ireland government and others take note because they are not blameless in the marginalization of the unionist people. And there is much they could do to rectify the situation if they so wished or so desired. So today we have decided to send some clear messages from a not so sunny Woodfield Park. You can entitle them postcards from the rally at Woodfield. The first one is to our Prime Minister, dear Tony, we congratulate you on making peace with Jerry and Martin and all the boys, but there's just one little problem. They are not the only community who live in Northern Ireland. For too long, Prime Minister, your energies and resources have been spent on in indulging those who murdered our kith and kin with little thought for the unionist people. One of the biggest obstacles to the future peace and prosperity of our land is the Parades Commission, a body that has a nationalist veto on our celebrations and our commemorations. We call on you to dismantle the sectarian apparatus of division now. We have been told by your ministers time and time and time again that it has to go. We have told them that, but they ignore us and tell us it's getting a facelift. Well, Prime Minister, no makeover will repair the damage it causes. Prime Minister, begin to take an interest in what matters to unionists. Don't fob us off with a repackaged existing regeneration strategy tied up with orange string. Listen to the heartbeat of Ulster. We simply seek a level playing field. Our fair share of resources, whether that be for festivals, culture or sport, whether that be to redress the balance in educational achievement in Protestant areas or boost our community infrastructure. We are fed up being treated as strangers in our own land. Westminster governments may have no selfish, strategic or economic interest in Northern Ireland. But we, the people, have a devotion, loyalty and connection to the United Kingdom that is not dependent on the whim of any government, Labour or otherwise. Our birthright was secured by our forefathers at Derry Ockram and a Skillen and the Boyne. In all theatres of war since, where tyranny and fascism have threatened freedom, we were not found wanting. From the trenches of the Somme to the jungles of Burma, from Korea to present day Iraq, Ulster men and women have served the crown faithfully. We seek no special privileges, but rather a fair hearing and the right to live as British citizens with the same privileges and responsibilities that such a heritage demands. Prime Minister, the Unionist family will no longer be ignored. Signed, Love Ulster, Woodfield Park. Yeah. Dear P. O'Neill, we don't have an address, but we know you haven't gone away. Our message is a simple one. You can propagate all the revisionist thinking you want to justify your murderous terrorist campaign against the Protestant and Unionist people of the province. If you fool yourselves to believe that sacrificing over 300 IRA volunteers was worth it just to get the 11 plus change, then that's up to you. But we here today accept the surrender of your arms, no matter what the amount was. But don't expect us to thank you for it. Don't expect us to thank you for stopping murdering Protestants along the border in order to steal their land. Don't expect us to say thanks for no longer blowing up Protestant businesses to create nationalist cities. Don't expect us to thank you for stopping the misery that you inflicted on all the people of Ulster. 
there was never any justification for doing so in the first place. Not then, not now, and not in the future. You have to decide, are you going to begin to tolerate unionists about the place? You speak equality, but practice segregation. You seek justice, but only for Republicans. You celebrate your culture, but deny unionists theirs. You preach opportunity, but only in your turn. Closing, let me sum up the reason why we are gathered here today. We have been ignored and marginalized for too long. The arrogance and indifference that created these attitudes now seeks to demonize and criminalize the unionist family. Such a process will not be tolerated. We demand fundamental change in attitude and approach by the British government and others. We demand respect. As our forefathers proclaimed, civil, liberal, civil and religious liberty for all, special privileges for none. We seek nothing more, nothing less, for this loyal part of the United Kingdom. No surrender because we love Ulster.